Hello everyone, good evening, welcome back to the What The Way Today, as I unfortunately have to discuss another Watford defeat, this time coming at the hands of Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. A very, very tight game, especially uh, in the first half, I thought anyway. Um, and unfortunately, it's a very, very silly goal to concede. Um, Ollie McBurney with the header, Ryan Porteous um, kind of got a foot on it. It went under Daniel Batman's legs um, and it, you know, went down as a Ryan Porteous own goal. But, you know, hilarious defending, to be honest. Um, and it's just frustrating because first half, I mean, I did a watch along for the game here on our YouTube channel. Um, and the first half, I thought we were, we looked good. We were quite competitive. Um, yes, necessarily, we didn't create a clear-cut opportunity, but neither did Sheffield United. Um, I thought we largely limited in die, especially to, to very few opportunities in front of goal. Um, and largely, for the, for the majority of the first half, I thought we was, we was quite good. Um, not excellent, but I thought we was quite good. However, second half... Um, now, I think the game changed when Imran Luzer got substituted off. Now, this is a discussion I want to have with you guys, and especially in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this decision as well. But, you know, Imran Luzer starts his first Watford game uh, today since October. Obviously, he's been out of a very, very long-term injury. Um, and I thought, personally, in my opinion, I thought it was the right decision to take him off because, you know, player, you know, very important player, comes back from a very, very long-term injury in a position where we struggled for numbers. Yes, he is very, very important to the team. However, <clears throat> you also have to protect your players. And Watford have a very favourable run of fixtures coming up. We've got to play the likes of QPR, Preston, Wigan, Birmingham, all in our next four games. Um, and I think Imran Luz is going to be crucial in that run of games. Now, you know, was it the right decision to take Loser off in the game? I would say yes. However, you know, a lot of people on Twitter and especially when I was doing the watch along as well said, James, it's stupid because what happened was we lost, <coughs> excuse me, we lost complete control of, you know, the midfield. Um, and, you know, I think loser come off, I think it was around the 60, 60th minute mark. Um, and Watford lost complete control of the midfield. And it was really, you know, frustrating to watch how, you know, one player can make such a difference when they're not on the pitch. And I think we'll see it with João Pedro as well. You know, when João Pedro um, you know, isn't playing for Watford, we lack a lot of attacking uh, intent. We don't have much creativity. Um, and I think we saw that when Loser went off as well. So we've discussed the goal. We've discussed the Imran Loser substitution. Now I want to talk about Slavan Bilic because there's been a lot of post-match reaction um, on social media about Bilic's future um, and a lot of people now are voicing their opinions against Bilic and saying that he should go. I think for me that is the wrong decision. I can see why people say it um, but I just think that for once let's just stick with a manager until at least the end of the season. Let's Let's see where we're going to end up because ultimately you know we're not going to finish first or second Burnley and Sheffield United, well, Burnley especially have that have that first position nailed on. Sheffield United pretty much have second nailed on as well. Um, so whether we finish third, fourth, fifth or sixth, we're going to finish in the player positions, fingers crossed, hopefully. OK, um, so, you know, that's why I would stick with Bilic. I think I've seen enough to suggest that he can get us into the player positions, especially with the players we've got coming back from injury. Um, however, I do have to question some of the substitutions he makes in games how late on the substitutions are as well. Keenan Davis came off in the 80th minute. A lot of people called for him to come off at half time today. Um, and that's been a regular um, occurrence with Bilic where he makes substitutions late on. Um, and whether you played football on a professional level, an amateur level, or just with your mates in the park, um, you know, when you're only on the pitch for a couple of minutes and you have that, you know, few minutes to influence a game, um, like with Arajo coming on today, for example, um, it's not enough time. And, you know, Watford need to score goals. You know, the teams around us are scoring loads of goals. Burnley scored four goals today. Um, you know, other teams are scoring many more goals than we have. And we arguably have one of the best attacks in the league. And I think Keenan Davis has been a figure amongst Watford fans who, Watford fans who has been frustrating to watch. Um, you know, he's meant to be our main striker and he's only scored four goals this season. It's an area that clearly needs to be worked on. Um, and for Village to only bring him off with, you know, 10, nine minutes to go. Um, I think, you know, frustrated people and sent them over the edge. But I think the next four games, what for the crucial, as I mentioned, we've got Preston, 
QPR, Birmingham and Wigan. Um, I would expect at least three wins out of them four games, if not four wins out of four, um, you know, to keep up with the teams around us in the player position. So let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments section below. Um, and yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.